Good morning, folks. I'm uh, just turning over some rock here in this pile of bush rock that I've had sitting here for a while. And I could see the webs. I knew there was redbacks around, but this one is a beauty. Or well, she, I should say. She's a beauty. It's quite a large one. They don't get much bigger than this one, and I would put something next to it to give you a size comparison, but... <laughs> I'm not game. They're a vicious little bugger. Notorious and famous throughout song and legend in Australia. Chiefly for biting people on the nether regions when they used to have outside dunnies. But, uh, <laughs> in fact, I used to have an outside dunny in the last place I lived in Kurnell. I was watching uh, Redback one day and a little tiny daddy long legs came down. And, uh, it was like a cat attacking a lion and this daddy long legs bit the uh, red back during a tussle and in about three seconds the red back was dead so my advice to you is if you've got daddy long legs in the area this is advice for Australians of course if you've got daddy long legs in the area leave them there they eat red backs um Latrodectus hercetii is his um latin genus they uh, are related to the black widow spider in America. Very closely related. In fact, that's a, basically a black widow with a paint job. Um, they've had an anti-venom for these guys since 1950s. Um, so no one has died since that, since the um, introduction of the anti-venom. Um, what can I tell you about them? Well, they... Um, they do eat, kill and eat the males after the uh, consummation of the marriage, so to speak, but not all the time. The males are very small compared to the females, but the venom is still quite highly neurotoxic. Here she goes, just a second. I lost her. There she is. If you've ever heard the uh, excellent Alice Cooper song, Black Widow, when he rattles off the list of um, the list of uh, symptoms from the spider bite, you know, um, intense pain, profuse sweating, difficulty in breathing, violent convulsions, loss of consciousness, etc. And finally, death. Well, that's the song anyway. But uh, these guys, although they're very, very, the class is highly venomous, but nothing, of course, like the um, Sydney funnel web or the Australian funnel web. Nowhere near it. These guys will even take small vertebrates, like little lizards and things. <clears throat> I've seen photos of. Uh, of lizards caught in their web, you know, little fence skinks and that caught in their webs. Uh, they will just run down and they spray them with this super strong silk um, and then bite them a few times and then just let them wear themselves out until they come down and eat them in spider fashion, you know. Oh, she's a beauty. Now, as loath as I am to kill anything these days, uh, I will introduce my boot to this girl. You know, otherwise, she's just going to make more redbacks at some stage. I'm losing her. She's getting on the underside of this rock now. There she is. There she is. Um, yeah, so that's the, the Australian redback. Oh, we read somewhere recently too that they are now turning up in uh, places like Japan, the Arab Emirates, New Zealand, which New Zealand doesn't surprise me, it's just across the Tasman from us. Um, 
But yeah, they've found their way into shipping containers and stuff, of course. And not just that, but, you know, people's uh, belongings too. So don't leave your boots outside. Don't leave your stuff laying around outside like me. <laughs> but this gives me an opportunity to use the uh, new camera which I bought a few days ago. My old one had um, had its day. And she's just sitting in the web there. I was trying to get her to uh, move so I could show you that beautiful red stripe again. <coughs> I will. I'll just give her a little nudge. Come on, girl. I'm just touching the web. I won't torment her anymore. This is silly. Um, I'm asking for it. But anyway, that's the that's the very famous Australian redback spider. Um, oh yeah, the other thing is, uh, whereas the bite of the funnel web is only uh, fatal to humans and, strangely enough, primates the bite of the redback will actually can actually kill cats and dogs so that's interesting you can even make out her fangs there they're relatively large the male's fangs are tiny um, and I always wear um, rawhide gloves when I'm doing this stuff I haven't got them on at the moment because I took them off so I could operate the camera but I'm um, building a rockery up the back and I've got all this bush rock's been sitting here for ages. And I saw the, um, the sort of very recognizable web of these guys. I knew I was gonna see a few. I saw two yesterday. So uh, a good excuse to use my new camera. Anyway, I'll bring a little bit of information to you. Aussies are gonna be very familiar with this guy, but I thought my friends in the states and elsewhere would be interested to see a redback up close. They reckon between 2,000 and 10,000 people get bitten every year by these guys. It's quite a number, but that's without any fatalities. Whereas, you know, if you're bitten by a funnel web and you don't get to hospital, you're, you're dead. These guys, you'll just have to grin and bear it. Without the grin, of course, I'd imagine. <laughs> I actually was acquainted with the last person to die from a funnel web bite. I'm sorry to say, and that was in um, uh, Woolaware, a place where, near where I grew up, south of Sydney. Yeah, very nice lady. Anyway, um... Her, uh, it was because of that that they developed the um, anti-venom. And they've got one for these guys, but they say that the anti-venom can cause an anaphylactic shock in people and can actually be worse than the bite. <laughs> so they usually just um, deal with it. So there you go. That's the red back anyway. But I'll give it one more little nudge. She's got big fangs. I'll give her one more little nudge. I've got to watch where I put my... Where is she? There she is. There you go. You can... Yeah, I thought she'd be turning around and biting that. There she is. No, she's not going to show us her... Where'd she go? 
She's not going to show us her beautiful paint job. Anyway, the redback spider, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a nice day. And I'll, um, oh, look, there you go. You see that tiny little guy? That's the male. There you are. Isn't he tiny? That's the male redback. Tiny in comparison. Really. He's got his work cut out for him. <laughs> anyway, have a good day and I'll, um, I'll back this up for your viewing pleasure. See you later.